and welcome back today we have the new ultimate 2023 streaming device that you got to check out this is everything that you want to know about this device this is it like big time um if you guys are brand new to the channel make sure you guys do consider subscribing leave me a comment below let me know guys if you guys have ever tested any of buzz tv's products um i'm excited for this one this one's crazy they've been always updating stuff and of course we always like to see like what's budget what's mid-range and what's premium this is premium pre i wish they had like this one and and that they had a chrome one that came out that chromium i wish they had one in like that chromium bluish purplish color but here's their bus tv this is the u5 um great device here it's nuts so you do have a USB-C port you got your uh AV port, Ethernet, HDMI, optical, and then power. Here on the side, you have your standard USB to USB 3.0, and then a TF card slot, kind of hard to see. Up here in the front, when this turns on, it turns on. There you see all my fingerprints everywhere. Um, but this is the one thing I wanted to show you guys, why this thing is so powerful. This thing opens up just like the 4900, and now you could put in two terabytes if you want it doesn't even matter how much storage this thing has you could put what you could expand the storage on this thing this this is is like your ultimate dvr system um super powerful super beast mode this is what you want now of course you do get your power cable um you do get a hdmi cable you're gonna get a good one you get their bt 400 which is their smart um you it has like a smart app built into the device that you could set these up to whatever apps you want which i think is pretty cool only downer side and i've said this multiple times is just this top part of the remote but the remote is good you do get two double uh, triple a batteries which is great um and then you could also sync these two buttons to your tv now if you do go back here there is a qr code if you scan that qr code or if you go to uh, buzztv.com forward slash smart remote right there, you should be able to get all the information you need, which is pretty good. Okay, the initial setup on this thing is always very simple. It's gonna say, push these two buttons to sync, watch for the flashing lights, let go, go through the process. In my streaming tech channel, I actually did like a, like a really good detail video on it. So that way you guys could check it out. Um, but it's very, like literally you could be fully set up within two minutes the only thing that the only reason why it will even take you two minutes is if you put in your password wrong for your wi-fi <laughs> that's it but as far as like installing and setup and everything it's super fast now all apps what's installed on this thing out the box so you get app installer app through tv buzz tv ota which updates your device buzz tv smart remote will go through that too files file browser disney plus drm info chrome google play netflix team viewer settings vlc and then of course good old youtube let's just test good old youtube out real quick i like to look at um if it pulls out 4k quality content at all so here we go we're gonna go into rojas now we are on my tech channel i do have the rojas streaming tech that's where i do all the detailed stuff i do multiple videos on these devices that way you guys get all the like everything um here is the rojas tech reviews where we're at and then here is my rojas travel reviews now if you guys don't know about my travel on well, rojas travel not reviews but if you guys don't know about my travel channel it's some pretty pretty good stuff this channel has everything and everything when it comes to my travel stuff so as you can see quality just looks insane right now um let's come here to settings and i always like to um you know just test out exactly how the settings looks like so right now it's saying quality 2160p it's pulling 4k um as you can see you can see all my all my all my sweat and pores and everything um i like to fast forward just a little bit just to get um you know j just to get it to buffer a little bit but as you can see the buffering or the loading does not take that long and look how clear that picture is this is my drone yeah look at that 4k nothing like nothing it's amazing um i did install ida 64 because this device this tells me everything about the device it is marked as a as a 32 gigs but it's about 20 almost 24 gigs of, it, of free space you do have bluetooth version 4 plus um four gigs of of ram you have your amlogic chipset 
great stuff. It is running a quad core ARM Cortex A55. Um, as far as your GPU, you are running the Mali G31. It's going to pull the full specs resolutions or whatever it is. Mine's pulling a, a 1080p. Um, as far as Android goes, you are running uh, Android 11. API level is at 30. Device is not rooted, which doesn't really matter. Codex, most important part. As far as your audio goes you have your c2 omx decoder and c2 omx encoder you got your latm 3gpp amr flock a la m la mpeg opus raw and vorbis as far as your video goes you have some really good ones vp8 vp9 vp6 um but look at this you have dolby vision dvhe dvav dav1 everything is awesome awesome twos m logic decoders which is great for video um rm10 20 30 40 vmv1 2 and 3 uh, hevc h263 h264 3 gpp mp4 ves um yeah everything vp8 vp9 you have all the stuff that you're going to want to get now when it comes to update buzz tv ota um check for updates if you look right here it says your system's up to date if any broke don't fix it just leave it alone Buzz TV smart remote. Here's the smart remote. Um, you could set up your TV or you could set up this remote to your TV, whatever TV you have, which is great. Um, if you scan that QR code in the back, it'll take you to the website and it gives you the codes for all the different TVs that you could do. Backlight. So right now it's off. I'm going to go down, turn it on, and then the light turns on, which is great. Backlight off. And there it goes. Turns right back off. Set up color keys. If you're like, well, I want to set these color keys up. This is where you do it red i don't know i am a fan of youtube let's go to youtube you set that up boom done i um, not going to do it but you this is how you could set it up and then you could remap them too um once you set them up you can't just delete them and put it as undefined at least i haven't found a way to do it um, but that's how to do it pair bluetooth remote you could pair other remotes or this one again um hdmi cec remote max volume settings this is everywhere where you can do it pretty good stuff now when it comes to chrome i want to show you guys this mouse um i was coming here to uh and this is a great website apk pure has lots of apks um if i do click on that mouse um there there goes my mouse the mouse is super squirrely um if you do turn it on it might say like you know unknown sources blah blah, blah. you turn everything on um just say okay yeah it's fine you come up here to the top corner notice that there is a red um button up there and yeah the, the the for whatever reason the, the the mouse is like shutting off so i have to click it again because it's my fat fingers clicking it um if you click on that it says new version make sure you sign into your google chrome if you go to your downloads folder um you notice it just got out of the mouse now again so again it's just you know it's a love and hate with that mouse you go to your downloads folder there it is i always tell people that you you could just come here and just delete this file because you don't need it but i'm gonna show i'm not gonna do it yet um i want to show you guys exactly why i well, why i don't want to delete it yet um here is app installer local disk anytime you download any apk it's going to appear right here you just click on it it starts installing now notice it was there here's ida 64 we we confirmed that it works now if you do go back to chrome then you're just like, okay, well, I definitely don't want that file because, you know, you don't need the file and the app. You just you just want the app. So just come here, back to downloads, find that file, and delete. And now it's gone. So I'm going to hit the back button, get out of here. And I'm going to hit that home button again. And let's come back here to app installer, scan, it's gone file's gone but ida 64 still there the app is still there because that's all you really need um as far as your live tv vod all that goes buzz tv doesn't offer any kind of services like that you have to get that from wherever you get it from your mac servers extreme codes which is xc or m3us when it comes to this stuff you just come here click add portal name usually you call it whatever you want peanut butter and jelly sandwich red black blue green portal url is given to you username is given to you password is given to you so keep that in mind buzz tv does not have services you get that somewhere else um
Disney Plus should be in 4K. YouTube's in 4K. Netflix won't be in 4K because it's it's not Netflix certified. Netflix has a whole separate certification. But let's be honest. Most of our smart TVs already have Netflix built into it. Use your smart TV to sign in to your Netflix app. And then you're good. Yeah. If you put in a two terabyte card in this thing, solid state drive, and you're, and you're watching your live TV and you're setting up your recordings, your PVR and all that stuff, this thing is a huge media player. Um, as far as your settings goes, they do have, uh, let me see here. They do have a buzz, you buzz utilities and you could change your home screen. I've done this a couple times too. You could switch them up. Um, pretty good options, weather settings, remote control, volume control, just tons of stuff here. There's so many things here that you can do. So let me know what you guys think. Um, this device is just such a beast and i mean it is such a beast of a device there's so many things that you can do so many things that you can set up with this thing and yeah like like if you want power you want the most powerful the most storage the most flexibility the most whatever this is it let me know what you guys think leave me a comment below with all that being said hope you guys take care take care of each other and i'll see you guys in the next one Thank you.